introduce my vi Hi everybody, Joe Cubicle here and son, Mini Joe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you got, buddy? Transformer. Transformer. More stuff. Got more stuff, more toys. See, I'm already out of breath. And that's the reason for today's video blog. We have about two hours and actually about an hour and 45 minutes before we leave for church and it's nice out, it's almost 40 some degrees already, and I've gained a lot of weight over the winter time, so, and my son is following in my footsteps when I was his age, a little chubby, but he's an awesome kid, uh, uh, incredibly strong for a 10 year old. And we're gonna go down to the river walk and walk. These two dudes next to us have sweet mustaches. Let's see if I can get them. Epicness. I'll tell you when it's right I don't know if you can see by that really dirty window zoom in. Oh, here. There we go. Now they're next to me. They look like two sweet 70s detectives undercover. Oh, one's kind of got a goatee. Yeah. I guess he's not that bad. Mmm, goatee. Okay, everybody, check out the TD Ameritrade baseball stadium. It's coming along nicely. Man. I don't know what this structure is here. This just popped up within the last year. Oh, check it out. They got the mirrors up, the windows. Yeah. Nice. Look at the steps. Those are cool. It's going to be such a sweet baseball stadium, but I'm going to miss the Rosenblatt. Yeah, Rosenblatt. I'm going to miss that too. All right, this stadium here, the TD Ameritrade Stadium, which you can kind of see in the background there, um, is the replacement for... Rosenblatt Stadium here in Omaha, where the uh, College World Series, the NCAA College World Series has been played, I think we turned here, no, this is a Quest Center, uh, where the NCAA College World Series has been played for 60 years, so it's now downtown, and they haven't finished the stadium yet, but they will pretty soon, and I think Creighton University is going to play some other games there as well. That's what it is. Just down the street. We've only left our house just uh, like three minutes ago. We live in a cool part of town. Okay, we're closer down by the river now, and I put this in a lot of videos. Just look them up: Joe Cubicle, uh, River Walk, Pedestrian Bridge, stuff, stuff like that. Greek Festival, I think, um, was down here too. Yeah. Um, the video that I'm showing right now is another snow dump. There's lots of snow dumps down here by the river, so that it melts and goes in these drainage ditches and just right off into the river. That's where they fill up all these. Um, dump trucks down in the uh, downtown area with snow and they just bring it down and dump it in huge fields and it melts and goes away. <laughs> melts and goes away. Ooh, that's a lot. People must have been ice skiing or sledding on the water. Yeah, there's a vehicle of some kind out down there. That must have been some pretty thick ice thing. Yeah, they're spinning their tires around. Probably a bunch of young punks. Gangsters. Gangsters. All right, well, this is uh, Heartland of America Park. pretty big. And then down off that way are some uh, buildings that are huge okay. corporations that are anchored in Omaha. There's a little Employ a lot of people, bring a lot of revenue to the city. Yeah. Right now we've kind of walked around. We're down where we saw the geese. Oh, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. Yeah, they look like they're sneaking up on something. There's one right in front of us here. So do you guys just hang out here all winter? So you really don't fly south? What? Say what? Say what? Okay, we're making our transition from the Heartland of America Park to the river. And let's see, what's this called? The Jean Leahy Mall? What? Or the, uh, I don't know. There's the Rick's Cafe and Boatyard. 
Yeah, the Gene Lee. No, Gene Lee Mall's up that way. I'm sorry. Um, oh, the landing. Lewis and, Car Lewis and Clark Landing. So it kind of starts down here. And just goes up that way to the pedestrian bridge. How would people which get is up way there? up there. How would people get up there? Missouri River. How close you could get on it. And looky there. A wee piece of frozen ice. I wonder if that support our weight. No, it depends on how buoyant the ice is. Here's something kind of interesting. All up and down this boardwalk here, you have these signs of different unions. It's uh, Omaha's Salute to Labor, Brotherhood of Electrical, Sprinkler Fitters, International Union of Painters, Electrical Workers, same thing again. Carpenters. Operating engineers. Oh, cool. Irrigation. Big ol' uh, uh, Gauge. Uh, gosh. Pressure gauge. Yeah, gauge of some kind, sorry. Teamsters. Horses. Sheet metal workers. <laughs> Service employees. International Union. SUI. International Association of Mechanists. More electrical workers. Yeah, they had that like five times. Omaha Federation of Laborers. Oh, it's the Union Walk. That's what it is. Has Union Walk. The Denver Union Walk. We're getting closer to the pedestrian bridge, and that will be our goal: okay. is to get across it, and then way over there, you can see the end of it. We come back. To the and that's Georgia. Iowa over there, and right at the end of it, I'll zoom in. Somehow we match that. Mega Zoo. We'll stop and turn around right at the end of it. And then somehow we'll do that before we get Yeah, get back and leave and get to church by 1.30. And there you go. Come all the way back around. So we're about a quarter mile away from the start of the bridge. But this is kind of cool. This is a kind of a marina. And you can see where the water line normally is. And it's all down. And there's the entrance where the river just runs into the uh, runs into the little marina. We are just about onto the uh, pedestrian bridge. So that means we are right next to Jones. the super cool condos. As much as I like our house, I'd love to live down here. Condo living. Maybe but not the one. condo price. I don't believe in buying apartments. You rent them. I mean, come on. We got rules, folks. We're here at the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge. Please be courteous. Motorized rollerblade pedestrians, pit bull. Oh, no pit bulls. Really? Permitted in Counts of Bluffs. Look at that. Both trash, alcohol, firearms, whatever. And of course, if you need to take a poop, you just do it and you put it in a bag. Good thing they don't have a picture of a bulldog. Yeah. That'd be a fail. Or what about when people want to poop? They don't show a person pooping. <laughs> and now for a little time. Halfway point. Not yet. There's our shadows. There. Yep. Missouri River. Okay, let's keep rolling. He's so crazy. Which state are you in, boy? You don't know. No. Both. I know this is kind of interesting. This is an interesting phenomenon on this bridge. There's one of these huge guide wires it's vibrating. And the bridge is kind of shaking up and down. That's normal. 
totally normal. There, put the camera on there. There we are. It's us. Here, don't look. He's walking. I think we found the tracks of a Bigfoot. It's a dog. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, darn it. Bigfoot doesn't have dog feet. It has feet. I wonder what size of foot a Bigfoot has. <laughs> Big. Big. <laughs> Do you believe in big feet? No, I don't. I do. I want to. I want to. I don't know if I believe or not in them, but I so want one to be found. Captured alive, of course. I don't want it to talk or anything. Just, you know, so they can totally tell that it's a real Bigfoot. That would be awesome. Or could he be just one? My name is Bigfoot. Hello. I really wish you'd let me go. <laughs> I see your truck. Finally. All right, we're just about back to my truck. Only about a couple hundred more feet. My son's gonna go use the uh, doo doo toilet. Probably a dead person. Okay, good. We did go all the way across the bridge. We decided to kind of about we went halfway across and came back. Shaved off five minutes each way, so because we're kind of running late. Not a big deal. We're gonna make it. It's a good time. It's really nice out. Man, it is nice. Tons of people out walking. I guess if you have a dog, the thing is to take him out for a walk. Hey, you went in the girls. Look. W and M. <laughs> That's funny. So that concludes our walk. Doesn't matter. Nobody's around to see. Yep. That's right. Where do real men go to the bathroom? <laughs> Wherever they want. <laughs> as long as we do it discreetly. All right. Good walk. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I think we uh, got our heart rate up for a good half an hour. We should probably do this more often. Okay, Joe, Mini Joe, out.